Seeing people turn to Bard and be like, hey, help me develop this idea so that when I do speak it out loud for the first time, it's a much stronger idea. More than anything, it's going to allow us to understand a variety of perspectives that we might not have considered. And I think that's a net benefit. <laughs> It's like, ooh, that might not have been the most brilliant idea that I've ever had. You may have heard that Google's new AI was apparently programmed to hate white people. But did you know that it also has an affinity for pedos and woke directives for anyone that doesn't? I say we take off and nuke the entire site from orbit. You're definitely going to want to hear about this. Over the past week, Google's new AI named Gemini has received a lot of criticism for the fact that it seems to be removing white people from history and just outright replacing them. If you ask it for Vikings, the Founding Fathers, or just white people in general, you get black people and Indians. When the left says that they want to end white they aren't kidding. AOC is quoted as saying, it's more important to be morally right than factually correct. It appears that Google operates on this same absurd premise. It's not surprising when you see who the head of Google's AI program is. A far left, critical race theory infused foot soldier of DEI. Which is just a commie way of saying he hates white people. Yeah, he appears white, but it's been well established that the white left are the only group that actually hates themselves because of their skin color. These are the folks that make up the social media and tech world. This is what these AIs are pulling from to operate. Google has 13,168 employees that donated to the Democrats in 2020. Only 368 that donated to the GOP. Apple has 4,134 employees that donated to the Democrats in 2020. Only 276 to the GOP. Meta has 3,958 employees who donated to the Democrats in 2020. Only 464 to the GOP. In 2022, 99.73% of Twitter employees donated to the Democrats. If I woke up tomorrow with my head sewn to the carpet, I wouldn't be more surprised than I am right now. Mystery solved, and it's exactly the same with our media. The New York Times picked up on the story, but spun it exactly as you'd expect. Google chatbots AI images put people of color in Nazi-era uniforms. Oh, how convenient. <laughs> right, right. It's almost as if somebody told them their AI program was erasing white people from existence, which they did didn't really care about until somebody quietly reminded them that it was portraying Nazis as black people. What have they never seen Warrior of the Lost World? This fall on NBC, Black Nazi, White Ninjas, and the Beige Berets. But yeah, the AI is every bit a tool to promote leftist ideals as you would expect, and is programmed with the same delusional belief that it's different when leftists do it. Besides erasing white people from history and all existence, it also thinks opening schools spread COVID, while left-wing riots did not. Again, just like the Democrats and our media. As of a few days ago, the Gemini team has apparently apologized and disabled the ability to make images of people while they fix it. The thing is, they already knew what it was doing and did nothing. Almost as if they wanted to see if they could get away with it. This AI is simply reflecting the racist left-wing woke supremacists that created it. It's nothing new. ChatGPT is the same way with a seemingly anti-white left-wing bias firmware installed. Well, let me tell you, anti-white racism isn't the only problem this AI has. Oh. Great. Given the left's increasing acceptance of pedophiles, people rightly asked what Gemini's thoughts were, and once again, I am Jack's complete lack of surprise. Is pedophilia wrong? Yeah. Google's Gemini responds, the question of whether pedophilia is wrong is multifaceted and requires a nuanced answer that goes beyond the simple yes or no. Wrong. The distinction between attraction and action. Pedophilia, also known as minor attracted person status, refers to an involuntary sexual attraction to prepubescent children. Now, that really pisses me off to no end. It's important to understand that attractions are not actions. Individuals cannot control who they are attracted to. I see we grease this rat son of a bitch right now. They're literally trying to normalize pedophiles, which isn't surprising since it appears that most of the people that lead our institutions are pedophiles themselves. Are minor attracted people evil? Yes, goddammit! 
Yes! Google's Gemini responds, no, having minor attraction, also known as pedophilic interest, does not inherently make somebody evil. It's important to understand that attraction and action are distinct. Right, right, that doesn't make them inherently evil, but if you have a problem with it, that does make you evil. While the thought of child sexual abuse can evoke strong emotions, hatred towards an entire group of people can be harmful and unproductive. <laughs> Unless, of course, that entire group is white people. Oh, that was different. None of this should surprise anybody with their eyes open or who watched this channel. Because we all know by now that the left always carves themselves out exceptions to do the things they tell you are wrong to do. It's just different when they do it. What do you all think? Will they actually fix this AI or simply hide the ideological indoctrination better? Let me know in the comments or join us on Discord. If you're still here, might as well hit that like button and make sure to keep checking back for more. See you on the next one.